and Mid Michigan College <laughs> campus cupboard is open. <laughs> We all knew that our students come to us from lots of different uh, backgrounds and that some of them uh, come with some food insecurity. And the, and the estimate was maybe 13 to 20 percent of students are struggling. But there was a study in 2017 that actually said that that number could be as high as 67 percent of students, community college students, who do not have access regularly to a proper food source. Food is such an important part of what people need. A little bit of it, it's Band-Aid. It takes care of getting them going every morning. It also though helps income. So if you're on a limited budget, you get to choose, do I buy food? Do I pay for babysitters for my kids? Do I pay for the heat? Do I pay for college and stay in college? And um, you know, what we know is this bit of food can help someone make those tough choices. We are extremely pleased to be able to offer this kind of service to students who, who have a need. And, uh, we recognize, as a lot of institutions all across the nation have, the, the student population, uh, although they're working hard and making ends meet whenever they can, sometimes just needs a little help. And, and if they don't have their needs met at home, it's hard for them to come here and, and learn, and to, to retain the information they're trying to, to learn and, and to really be good students. So if we can help with that, by offering a food pantry that has stocked shelves and, and can give them a little bit of assistance throughout the week, then that's going to help everyone out in the long run. When I think about the reasons that our students are not able to complete classes that they've started, so often it has nothing to do with academic ability. It's all about um, sort of non, non-academic factors, all of those psychosocial reasons. So um, work obligations or, um, or family obligations. I have to um, work that overtime shift to make ends meet to provide food for my family. So that means I can't come to class or I can't take that extra course. Um, we know how important momentum is for our students. And so if this is a service that we could offer students that would help alleviate some of that burden and allow them to to focus on their studies while still making sure that um, themselves and their families are well fed. Um, that is really sort of the mission of the college and the food pantry particularly now. We talk here at MID about the importance of student success. We don't just mean the papers that people turn in, the tests that they take. We also mean that total success in their lives, the way that we launch them into their future careers. So Carrie, uh, who runs the food pantry, is in my area, in the, in the student services area. She works with mentoring and advising and retention. And we recognized as an organization, as a college, that we needed to, to address the food insecurity issue. And so she stepped forward and is working with that. And so I've just been helping in any way I can as, as her supervisor. At first, when we started handing out diapers, people said, why diapers? But what you don't think about sometimes is how expensive diapers are. And if you have to choose, between diapers and food, um, what do you give your infant? And we've seen people have to stretch diapers, uh, rinse out disposable diapers and use them over and over again. And so by helping give families diapers, and I know it's one of the things that Mid's gonna think about uh, and may or may not get there, but uh, you gotta start somewhere. And starting with this wonderful pantry is great and I look around and you have all the essential staples. You know, you want people to have some healthy food. I was doing some research, just looking at um, trends within higher education. This would have been probably late 2016. Food insecurity was a particularly large problem for community college students and really got thinking about um, how can we do more as a college community to help our students. and. That led me to write a grant through the Mid Michigan College Foundation uh, to get some seed money to start this. It's been a very long and meandering process uh, since then, since January of 2017, when I found out we got the award, um, to now here, where uh, 17 months later, and uh, finally getting to open. It's really exciting. I have a, a son who is married, has five children, and at one point uh, he had a a job and lost his job and had to move to another state. Had a house he had couldn't sell. And uh, then he was in a car accident and lost his leg. And 
and then he had some heart problems. And here is a typical person who sometimes needs their neighbors to step in and help them out. And he was fortunate because he had a family that could do that. Not everybody does. And it brought home clearly to me the need for us to help our neighbors out. When you think your load's too heavy, close your eyes and you can imagine someone else whose load's heavier. If you have an opportunity to pay it forward, pay it forward, give to someone else. It makes you feel better. Uh, you benefit way more than they do. Our campus community here at BID and the larger Gratiot Isabella, Claire Badwin areas um, are full of really inspirational people and people who really have a heart for service and this effort, this initiative has involved a lot of those different factors from the community, um, really could not have done it without the support of so many people. Um, this effort has been really important to me personally, I hope that it's important um, to our students and I'm just really glad that it's open.